I'm craving a full face of makeup because I haven't done my makeup in over four days except for concealer. So let's do a full face of makeup because I'm going out. A bit professional primer in the center of my face. I really like this one, but you have to let it dry before applying foundation. Every time I use the Patrick Ta foundation, I get a lot of compliments on my videos. So that's what I'm using. It's one of my favorites now, but I like to apply it with a sponge. When I tried it for the first time, I used a brush, but with a sponge, it's just amazing phenomenal it looks just like skin but it perfects your skin it is undetectable on the skin armani concealer in the inner corner i love this concealer especially for everyday because it is luminous it is not heavy but it's brightening i'm gonna let the concealer sit for a little bit and i'm gonna go over with this westmore beauty <laughs> cream bronzer and this one i'm gonna apply right on top of my cheekbones it's such a beautiful shade and it's also blurring this is in the shade sunlit bronze i'm also applying it on my forehead and on the sides of my nose and blending the concealer finally i'm trying a red blush this looks so good. How come I never tried a red blush before? This is from Merit in shade Rouge. Such a beautiful shade. Look at this. It's so vibrant. I'm trying this new powder from Cosas. This is in Baby Pink. I'm going to apply it under my eyes. And I hope it's really brightening. I love Cosas powders. And for the rest of my face, I'm using Makeup by Mario. This is the lightest shade. This powder is so good. Talk free. And it's so mattifying, it really makes your makeup last. Who am I kidding? I really need to bake under the eyes. <laughs> I try to be very simple and glowy, but I just really like a soft matte look, especially in the center of my face. I'm gonna add some extra bronzer and blush from this Hourglass palette. A lot of you ask me if this is better than the Dragon one, and I feel like this one I like the most because of the blush shades and the bronzer. The dragon one is amazing too. It's a little more subtle, so I would recommend it for people with very fair light complexions or for people who like cool undertone. By the way, this is Makeup by Mario F2 brush. I really like it for powder, for pretty much everything. Now I'm gonna use this blush, which is like a cool mauve shade. It's really pretty. And then I'm gonna top it off with this highlighter blushy shade right on top of it for some extra glow. I totally forgot that I did not fill in my brow, so I'm adding a little bit right here and there. For lip liner, I'm using this new one from Laura Mercier in shade Rosewood. I really like it. It's cool tone. It has a little bit of pink. It's Patrick Ta lipstick in shade Shy. This is a matte lipstick, so it's gonna last me a lot longer. I'm going very neutral with my eye makeup. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury, the Sophisticate palette. I'm applying the shade into my crease. I'm not gonna do eyeliner, but I'm gonna grab the darkest shade in the palette with this Dior brush. It is very thin and I'm gonna create an eyeliner kind of thing. I'm gonna stamp it right across my lash line. This is Dior number 24. It's a really great brush. It's so precise. I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the palette and I'm gonna apply it right in my inner corner for some extra brightness. I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize Mascara. I really like this one. I'm gonna set everything in place with the Makeup by Mario setting spray. And this is the finished look. I really like it because it still looks natural, but it's makeup, so I feel a little more like myself. What do you guys think?